Consumers urged to know about their rights and responsibilities. Tobago's Rehabilitation and Empowerment Center progresses with transforming lives and Agriculture Secretary calls on central government to assist with reducing the impact of sargassum seaweed. Info Update Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews, reviews along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. With people buying items ranging from food to clothes to electronics on a daily basis, consumers don't always get the best value for their money. And in those cases, there is a unit that's there to help them. Omidara Mills tells us more. The protection of consumers' health, safety and money is the objective of the Consumer Affairs Unit, a body under the Division of Finance and Enterprise Development. The unit has hundreds of complaints and of the legitimate ones, they boast of over 90% success rate in getting people repairs, replacements or refunds. The Consumer Liaison Officer Verdine Williams explains why the educational aspect of the unit's activities is important. Well, with that, the consumers will become more empowered. They will know, they will have more knowledge about what's their rights and their responsibilities. And they become empowered in making better decisions. The acting manager of the unit, Langdon Phillips, explains how his unit's subjectives of ensuring that the consumers' interests are protected fit into the Assembly's vision for Tobago's development. It will thrive upon proper consumerism taking place. It would definitely involve production and manufacturing and selling of items and the purchasing of these items for any economy to thrive. The public can look out for consumer caravan in the coming months that deal with sensitizing them about the importance of careful spending, particularly around the Christmas season. I'm Umadara Mills for Info Update. Tobago's very own Rehabilitation and Empowerment Center is helping to change and save the lives of those addicted to illicit drugs. One recovering addict opens up on what rehab is really like for those walking that difficult journey. Here's more in this report from Josanne Brassi. Individual counseling, group therapy and occupational therapy are all typical services the Tobago Rehabilitation and Empowerment Center provides. The center offers rehab for anywhere between six weeks and nine months, both residential and non-residential clients. Life skills training also helps recovering addicts regain control of their lives. As recovering addict Dion Souza explains. The addict also has to want this. He has to, he or she has to know that this is the best thing for them and this is what they should do in, 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 in regards to um, coming here, most addicts think that um, this rehabilitation center is about medication, but it's wow. about therapy. It's a therapeutic community where man help man to help themselves. Verbal therapy, verbal teachings, verbal inf information, verbal medication as we call it. Gavin Cole, who manages the center, says he is very satisfied with the level of progress it has made thus far. I'm Josanne Brassi for Info Update. Speaking at the August plenary sitting of the Assembly Legislature, the Secretary of Agriculture, Marine Affairs, Marketing and the Environment, Godwin Adams, moved a motion on the sargassum seaweed, calling on members to support the Executive Council in its efforts to mitigate its impact. The motion also called on central government to assist the Assembly in reducing the impact of the sargassum invasion on local industries such as fishing and tourism, as well as on the well-being of the population. The Secretary also wants central government to take the lead in organizing a CARICOM meeting to discuss the impact of sargassum on the affected islands in the Caribbean region. He added that this is critical because Tobago can derive economic benefits from the sargassum issue, such as the production of soaps, body wash and lotions. The cleanup exercise has costed the Assembly $4 million. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers and you've been listening to Info Updates.